Hello everybody, I'm Crystal, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best portable projectors. These projectors are quite small, and most of them even fit in your pocket, so you would think the picture wouldn't be that great. But in 2015, projector companies have really stepped up their game, delivering some amazing quality projectors that can fit in the palm of your hand. So without further ado, let's get right into the 4 best portable projectors of 2015. So let's start with the United Object Smart Beam Laser Projector. It comes in at $420 and comes with a free tripod stand depending on where you order it, like United Objects website. This is the smallest projector of the group, and one of the more interestingly designed ones as well. It weighs 1.12 pounds and is actually the world's smallest HD LCOS laser projector at only 2.2 inches all around, so it can get pretty hot. But with its native 720p resolution and its fast laser autofocus, this portable projector offers some very crisp and clear images instantly no matter where you move it. The picture is very bright, rated up to 60 lumens, so watching movies even when in a non-pitch black area is manageable. Overall, the quality is great and can stay in focus at very far distances, with a max screen size of 100 inches. The picture can have a very harsh bluish tint at times, but it's not very obvious unless you compare it to another projector. It's very easy to get used to. The UO Smart Beam Laser Projector does have built-in speakers, and they get pretty loud, loud enough to watch something on the go, but of course not loud enough for a full-length movie. The quality of the sound isn't too great either, it's not horrible, but it's a little muffled, and I'd say it's probably the worst of these four projectors, especially since the projector itself creates a little noise with its fans. Also, there is no audio output, so connecting speakers of any kind is out of the question. Setting up a video for playback is very easy. You can connect your phone wirelessly with Miracast or DLNA, or you can connect the laptop using an HDMI cable, although one side will need to be mini HDMI. There's a 4200 milliamp battery inside, and that is said to last up to 2 hours, a little bit more if you're connected with HDMI. So if you're watching a long movie, you'll have to make sure you plug it into a wall outlet. The United Objects Smart Beam Laser Projector offers great video quality, amazing for such a tiny little device. Sure, the speakers aren't the best, and the battery is a bit small, but this is the ultimate portable projector, with its selling point being its size. It's very simple, it's incredibly small, and most importantly, displays a beautiful picture. Next, we have the Pico Pro from Celluon, another projector that is beautifully designed, being one of the thinnest projectors made. You can pick one up for around $359. It's only 181 grams, a half an inch thick and six inches across, making it fit into a pocket with ease. It has a very interesting design, as if two bricks are stuck together. It almost looks like if you should be able to twist or turn them, but don't do it. They are one solid body. It also comes with a stand with 360 rotation, which makes finding a surface for it to rest very easy. Celluon states that the projector light comes in at 32 lumens, but don't let that fool you. The Pico Pro can get very bright, and the quality is fantastic as well, at 720p. It offers infinite autofocus, so you never have to worry about fiddling around with the focus, and it works just as well as the laser autofocus on the Smart Beam projector. Your picture will always be clear. You'll never see it out of focus, and up to a screen size of 250 inches. The color temperature can be a little warm and lean more towards a purplish hue. By comparing it with other projectors, the purple hue is very apparent, but it doesn't take too much time to get used to it either. It supports the standard connectors like the UO Smart Beam with a mini HDMI port and Miracast or DLNA capabilities. Unfortunately, the speakers on the Pico Pro don't get too loud either, but the sound quality is actually fantastic. The speakers offer the best sound quality over the other projectors by far, since this is a fanless projector, the projector itself remains very quiet, so there's no unneeded noise to distract the viewer. Although the Pico Pro offers great sound quality, you do have an option to connect headphones for private viewing or even hook up the projector to speakers to create a real movie theater-like experience. While we're not exactly sure of the battery capacity inside the Pico Pro, we are told that when wirelessly connected, you can go for at least two hours and when wired with HDMI, at least three. It's also nice to see that the Pico Pro comes in different colors, like black, silver, and gold. At $359, it's a little cheaper than the United Object Smart Beam Laser Projector, while having better sound and the headphone jack. And although the purplish tint is a drawback, it's a little more preferable over the bluish hue. 
The third projector we have is the ASUS S1 Mobile LED Projector, and it costs about $300. This projector's design isn't as eye-catching as the others, but it's still small at 4 by 4.4 inches and 1.2 inches thick, and it's actually lighter than the UO Smart Beam Laser Projector at 3 fourths of a pound. It doesn't come with a tripod, but it does support one. The ASUS S1 also gets insanely bright at 200 lumens, so viewing from far away, the picture will still be viewable. This projector unfortunately does not have any type of autofocus, so you'll have to resort to the manual focus wheel on the side. The resolution does take a dive this time around, dropping to a max of 480p, so it won't look as crisp as the other projectors, but still, with that being said, the overall quality of this projector may be a bit better than the other two. Colors are beautiful, and the picture is super bright. There's no big hue shift like the others. It may lean a little towards the blue side of things, but nowhere near as much as the UO Smart Beam Laser Projector or the Pico Pro. You have a lot of control over the quality of the projection when you dive into settings, where you can change the contrast and even put on different modes, like standard, theater, etc. One nice thing about the ASUS S1 is its ultra short throw ratio, which is just the angle of which the picture is shown. On the left, we have the Pico Pro, and on the right, we have our ASUS S1. Both are sitting at the same height of the table, yet the ASUS S1's picture is shown higher at a 41 inch diagonal projection, which makes it very easy to play videos at short distances like this. This time, we have a standard HDMI connector on the back, along with a USB port, because this projector can actually charge your phone even if it's off. Unfortunately, you cannot connect your phone wirelessly to the ASUS S1, you'll have to connect using MHL. The speakers are not the best sounding, but certainly not the worst. They are, however, the loudest of the four, and if you want to go even louder, hooking up speakers is possible using the headphone jack. With this projector being bigger than the others, ASUS was able to fit a 6000 milliamp battery in here, allowing 3-4 to four hours of playback. Although not the most interesting design and its low resolution, the ASUS S1 is a great portable projector and it offers a great picture quality. It's the cheapest of the four at $300, so it's definitely worth considering. And last, but certainly not anywhere close to lease, we have a portable projector that is in a totally different league than the others. It's the $600 ZTE S Pro 2. So what makes this projector so much better and pricier than the rest? Well, there's a ton of reasons, but there's two big things. One, this projector runs Android and sports a five inch touchscreen. And two, the picture quality is out of this world. Yes, the ZTE S Pro 2 is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat and has a very beautiful 5 inch HD touchscreen on the top where you can surf the web, download apps in the Play Store, browse through photos, and even message your friends. This projector has you covered. No matter who you are or what you have, you'll be able to view content on this device. Of course, the projector can connect to Wi-Fi, but if you're a Verizon or AT&T customer, you're in luck because this projector comes in Verizon and AT&T variants. So you can project YouTube, Netflix, or even websites even if you're somewhere without Wi-Fi. Even if you're not a Verizon or AT&T customer and find yourself somewhere without Wi-Fi, you'll be able to take advantage of the projector's microSD card slot. And as you would expect, the projector is capable of projecting with Miracast and the standard HDMI cable. Once again, there's a USB port for charging. It doesn't come with a tripod, but it is capable of being used with one, although the little leg in the bottom may be enough for you. The picture quality is by far the best of the four. With a 720p resolution and 200 lumens, it projects a nice and bright crisp and clear image, and colors are absolutely beautiful, at a maximum of 120 inches. There are no weird tints and hues or strange color temperatures. Colors are very accurate, and the whites are very white. It has an autofocus feature that's slower than the others and will try to adjust every so often, but you can disable it once you place the projector down. It only takes a second or two to focus, but it creates the sharpest image of the four. There are different brightness settings like low and medium, and for the high option, you'll need to plug the projector into an outlet, which is unfortunate, but it must be a big battery drain. One feature that the ZTE S Pro 2 has that the others don't is keystoning, which means the projector will automatically correct the angle to prevent the picture from stretching. So even if the projector is not sitting horizontally on the wall, the projector image will remain in a true rectangular shape. The speakers on the projector are about the same quality as the ASUS S1s, but just a bit quieter. But once again, a headphone jack is available for audio output. 
inside is a 6,300 milliamp battery, which can last for up to three hours, which is pretty good considering there's pretty much a full phone running inside there. It's the biggest projector of the four, coming in at 5.3 by 5.2 inches and being 1.2 inches thick. It's definitely a beast of a portable projector, outperforming the others in almost every area, although it is the least portable of the four. It can be a bit pricey too, at $600, but if you buy it at a Verizon or AT&T store, it is cheaper, especially if you add it with a contract. There's a little something for everyone here with these four great portable projectors of 2015. Whether you want to impress people with a very stylish and compact design, have the ability to create a home theater anywhere, project beautiful video without breaking the bank, or going all out, there's a portable projector for you. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a nice big thumbs up because that really helps us out. Also comment below and let me know which one of these four projectors you would pick up. Also, don't forget to check out these four videos on the side here and our weekly podcast. And lastly, head on over to AndroidAuthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.